developing nation and one of the fastest growing economies in the world, India experiences more power cuts than most countries in the world. With a population of 1.3 billion people, we consume more than 308 gigawatts of power supply annually, out of which thermal contributes for more than 65%, making it a great contributor to the greenhouse emissions in India. To meet this large energy gap, India needs to make use of all of its natural resources like hydro, wind, solar and even nuclear in an eco-friendly manner. The interest of private companies in the energy sector can reduce this energy gap. In 2016, NDTV along with Global Himalayan Expedition lit up the 2500-year-old Fuktal Monastery in Ladakh with solar power. This year again, NDTV along with Luminous and Global Himalayan Expedition lit up the oldest and the remotest village of Zanskar, called Shade, again with solar power. Old timers like Luminous have already set up several power plants in mountainous regions as well as the plains. But now, smaller contenders are also becoming part of this energy marathon. And with their help, we will compare and contrast the various available resources of renewable energy in the next two episodes of Lighting the Himalayas. Hydropower is one of the first renewable resources of energy in the world. Today in India, hydro amounts for 13.5% of the total utility energy generated annually. But over the years, some smaller plants have been making a significant addition to India's power supply, like the newly founded company Shakti Hydro. We are two commission projects. One project we commissioned in 2014, which is located in Chamba district, having a capacity of 2.4 megawatt. Another project commissioned in 2017, having a capacity of 3.8 megawatt, located in Dharamshala. The both uh, capacity put together, it is 6.2 megawatt which provides uh, lighting up of almost uh, 70,000 households. After carefully studying the mountains and the Ubhara Nala, Shakti Hydro began the construction of their plant. The challenge was how to bring the water to the project and generate electricity. And See, what happened was all this had to be done with the minimal expenditure at the same time effectively. So what we actually did, we trekked up the whole mountain. We went to the top, we found out the places from where the water could be channelized and brought down to this place. Water from the Ubhara Nala is diverted by a trench pier to a collection trench. The collected water is then diverted to a desilting basin which separates pebbles, sand and silt coming along with the water and feeds clean water into the water conducting system. A spillway is provided just above the desilting basin to spill out the excess flow back into the natural course of the stream. The desilted water then passes through the water conducting system comprising of a steel pipe of 1.5 kilometers. The steel pipe leads to a surge tank, which acts as a four-bay storage for immediate supply of water. The penstock carries the gushing water to the powerhouse, which uses the kinetic energy of the water to generate electricity. Since the invention of the Pelton and Francis turbines in 1880, the basics of the hydro technology have not changed. Once the DPR is approved by the government, we go for a detailed design and drawing. The, as per the detailed and design and drawing, we construct the project. There are two technologies available, one is Pelton and another is Francis. These equipments are used according to the availability of head and the availability of the water. There is no uh, change in the mo technical model. For example, the Joinderna 110 megawatt project uh, construction 1932 by the British people, the project is still running smoothly without any problem. For example, uh, the technology can be upgraded like SCADA and uh, new some IT uh, software can be added to the uh, electromechanical system. A simple technology improved over the years. As it relies on nature, the power plant is majorly dependent on the seasons as well. Hydro project totally depends on the peak and lean period. 
the peak and lean period always differ compared to uh, different kind of location for example is a snow belt area glacier area always it differs the peak area starts from month of february till august and the lean comes from now october to january if it is a rain belt area the peak will be uh, july to august and september it continues and the lean will be in the may june will be a lean period thousands of tons of water is diverted from the river using these pipes their safety is critical for the plant's smooth functioning and so each part of the pipe stretched for 1.5 kilometers is manufactured with extreme caution as a single fault will halt the plant's production for months and also increase costs the pentagon is always have some problematic area if there is any mistake happen the steel may get burst or anything see we identified the mukat pipe where they are doing a best fabrication the mukat pipe is using a a uh, two three better technology compared to others which cannot be done at the local area that is uh, hydro test they are doing is a normal steel which we have used in uh, water conductor the penstock which we use the boiler steel which is the strongest one which is will not have any uh, blasting the control can have the pressure everything the penstock which we are used from the sershaw to powros we used a different kind of mm the initially we started as 6 mm 8 mm 10 mm 12 mm and uh, 14 and 16 mm end of the sershaw and end of that uh, y piece we used the 30 mm uh, steel boiler steel we used setting up a power plant in the mountains is no easy feat and the workers are testimony to the challenges faced during its construction thoda difficult kaam tha wahan sabse zyada dikkat hame thi wahan material pahunchane ki chadhai thi road ki grading achhi thi uski iske bawajood bhi humne wo material liya hai aur uske aage humne 2.5 km jo hai ghode aur khachron ke upar material liya hai january mein barf giri 3 4 barf giri thi वहाँ भी हमारा काम रुकना पड़ा मौसम ठीक रहा था तो शायद दो तीन महीने पहले प्रोजेक्ट बन सकता था 70 percent of India's greenhouse emissions are associated to the energy sector. In fact, many argue the legitimacy of categorizing hydropower as a renewable. Hydro project is a totally renewable energy, so I will not agree compared to other uh, project. Reason being, the hydro is not disturbing any environment. and tree cuttings are very minimized even whatever that tunnel we are doing excavation we are reusing for construction purpose only and as per the environment clearance we have to discharge 15% of water and it doesn't disturb the river also because uh, we are diverting water through the tunnel and we are diverting to our power house so you can avoid the flash flood for example the terry dam project totally it saved the haridwar and the rishikesh area These pipes run through rocky regions of the mountains where the use of machines and dynamite is prohibited due to environmental reasons. This is very hard rock area. 1.5 km we excavated to manual. There's no machine, no LNT machine, no JCPs can be entered that area because of hill station. The totally manually we done the excavation. It took almost nine to ten months time. ये कटिंग का काम हमने पर्यावरण को ध्यान में रखते हुए बिल्कुल मैनुअली किया है इसमें कोई भी ब्लास्ट वर्क या कोई किसी मशीन का इस्तेमाल नहीं किया है आप देख सकते हैं ये सारा मैनुअली काम हो रहा है और जो भी पत्थर या कुछ भी निकला है वो हमने एक जगह सैक करके रखा है ताकि कोई नदी को नुकसान ना हो या कोई पर्यावरण को कोई नुकसान ना पहुँचे After the water hits the turbines it is released back into the rivers much like the economic model of these plants which is also designed to push funds back into the village See most of the hydro projects are concerned with remote area but there is no road or infrastructure nothing is there even some area the residents are, are also not there so only during the construction we employ almost 100 to 200 but as per the government uh, rules and regulation we have to give employment 75% to local residents which we are already being and once the project is completed and we also go for a, 
uh, employment for the local people and we also train them for a, a technical for example ita electrical or mechanical we train them local people and we give a employment for them mostly we give the labor contract to the local people only so almost 30 to 40% money is invested to the local only they are benefited the money because himachal government is getting 1% 1 free power, uh, free power from all the project and the 1% free power fund is utilized for the local residents only and himachal compared to our city and uh, himachal the electricity cost is hardly 1 rupees 1 rupees 50 paisa once the power plant is set up, routine maintenance is the only remaining concern. Hydro project doesn't require much maintenance compared to other uh, power projects. For example, the plant runs continually three to four month peak time. The, during lean season, lean season, we maintain the power plant. One unit is shut down, so we maintain the plant. And even the lean season, we take two to three days to shut the plant and maintenance is enough. But if you maintain the desilting tank properly, take out the silt properly, then you don't need to care much maintenance. According to Sankaran, policy reforms and facilitation of business in the energy sector can help build India's power supply. Definitely a lot of hydro uh, developers are waiting to develop the hydro project. But if the government gives better support, and uh, the clearances given immediately and the local problems are solved by the government. So a lot of developers are ready to do the project. For example, Himachal, the government is giving a good support. In the northeast area, still a lot of hydro projects, projects are there. Uh, the approvals and local problems are there, due to which we are, they are not able to set up more power projects in, uh, in that location. Because the demand supply is already in India is uh, very uh, nominal but if we can reduce the thermal power project and increase the hydro power production much compared to because already the pollution is increasing if you bring hydro power projects we can uh, fill the gap what thermal is giving